So, you think you have ADHD? Girl, when did you get your PhD? Welcome to today's episode, where we dive into the mental illness that every teenager on the internet seems to think they have. ADHD. Yes, you heard me right. It's the diagnosis du jour. The hot new trend and everyone's jumping on the bandwagon like it's the latest TikTok dance. But before you start slapping that label on yourself like a designer brand, let's take a closer look. Spoiler alert! You might be underestimating your mental situation or just totally misreading it. Now, let's talk about ADHD. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder for those who just arrived from Mars. ADHD is not just some quirky personality trait or a trendy excuse for why you binge-watched an entire Netflix series instead of studying. It's an actual mental health disorder with real symptoms that can seriously impact your life. But hey, who needs a professional diagnosis when you have Google, right? There are two main types of ADHD. One, inattentiveness. Two, hyperactivity. Most people with ADHD are blessed or cursed, depending on your point of view, with both types. But some folks only deal with one, which seems like winning half the lottery. When you're inattentive, it's like your brain decided to go on a permanent vacation. You make careless mistakes, lose everything except your mind, and bounce from one task to another without ever really finishing anything. Focusing is a mythical concept and your attention span is shorter than a TikTok clip. Sounds familiar? It might, but let's not jump to conclusions just yet. On the flip side, if you're hyperactive, sitting still is like torture. You feel the urge to walk around even in the calmest situation, maybe even pacing back and forth like a detective in a crime drama. You're chatty to the point where people start wondering if you're in a conspiracy with caffeine. And let's not forget about your total disregard for danger. Because why would you consider consequences when you can live life on the edge? Diagnosing ADHD is a breeze in kids compared to teens and adults. You can spot the signs before the age of 6, like a bright neon sign flashing ADHD here. But once you hit those glorious teenage years or adulthood, things get trickier. Other conditions start mimicking ADHD like a good impressionist, making it harder to tell what's really going on. For example, teenagers might deal with anxiety disorders. Have you ever heard of ODD, Oppositional Defiant Disorder? It's where you reject authority like a bad fashion trend. Sure, it has a few ADHD-like qualities, but it's a whole different beast. Depression. If you're having sleep problems or struggling to complete tasks, you might think, hey, this is ADHD. But depression could be the actual culprit hiding in the shadows. Autism. Ah, the misunderstood sibling of ADHD. Difficulty in social situations, repetitive behaviors, these can often be confused with ADHD symptoms. But you might actually be somewhere on the autism spectrum which social media likes to blur together with ADHD. Now let's talk about adults. Adults are less likely to get an ADHD diagnosis, mostly because by then everyone's just assuming you're quirky or that's just how you are, but if you're constantly losing your keys, interrupting people mid-sentence, and experiencing mood swings that could rival a soap opera bloodline, you might want to pay attention. Sure, it could be ADHD, but it could also be bipolar disorder, a personality disorder, or even OCD. 
Ah, the joys of human mind. So, what's the takeaway here? Do not, I repeat, do not self-diagnose. Just because your favorite influencer said they have ADHD doesn't mean you do too. If you're seriously concerned that you might have ADHD or any of the symptoms mentioned, please, for the love of all that is holy, see a professional psychologist. Let them do the diagnosing. After all, they went to school for it. You didn't. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you liked what you heard, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're just getting started and things are about to get way more interesting around here. See you next time! If your ADHD doesn't distract you first. Goodbye for now!